Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about our RB26 and our R33 GTR. Now I picked up this awesome GTR owner's book, but I also picked up like this Carboy GTR GTST parts manual and these books are interesting. If you didn't know Japanese books like open up backwards and they read backwards it's, or maybe to them we're reading backwards. But what I found in here was a common trend, a pattern. One thing I noticed was that this was missing from the engine bay. And so I started doing research and I was thinking it makes sense because what is underneath this cover? Well, you have your coils, you have your coil harness, and it's where your spark plugs are at. And I am going to assume, because I can't say for certainty what somebody did and what their mentality was, but I'm gonna assume that they removed this to reduce heat. Now, I'm always skeptical, skeptical about doing things that a manufacturer did. Did the manufacturer do this so they could have their logo on here and they could have a place to put the igniter? Or did they put this to protect the coil packs? Or removing this will have a negative impact? I don't know. Or will removing this will actually allow the coil pack and the harness to survive a little bit longer because the heat will be able to, to dissipate and less heat will be trapped between the valve cover and the engine. Now, the best way that I thought about it as far as how my logic approached it is if you're cooking something right in the pan and you put the cover on it, the steam will stay inside it. And I don't know if it'll cook more efficiently or if the temperature will rise, but I'm assuming whenever you trap something, it's gonna get hotter. And again, it's all an assumption. But what I saw in this book was majority of people had this off. So I'm gonna try running without it on. Now, this is a 1995 car and we are coming up in pretty much 2024. So it's about 29 years old. And a look what I just removed. I removed this before we filmed and oh, check it out. This broke off. It's pretty hard. These were brittle and this is the original coil pack harness. But we picked up a brand new coil pack harness from megazip.net. Now, if you don't know about Megazip, yes, we've been sponsored by them. Yes, they're an awesome company. What they do is they sell OEM parts, brand new OEM parts. And I've been buying a lot of OEM parts for the R33 GTR, which is really neat. And I got this in the mail because I got it. I bought it from Megazip. And the interesting thing about it is that it has Nismo written on the package. So when we remove the two harnesses, we noticed that they're pretty similar with a few different design features, both in the clip and in the connector, but we tested it and it, and it go, connects perfectly to our harness. But I like this because this is a new harness. This is really old and brittle and that happens with rubber, it happens with connectors. And I'm excited that we're gonna put on this new harness, Okay, let's talk about what I did. I installed the new coil pack harness and it clicked in and looks good. And then since we're not using the valley cover, I zip tied the igniter thing to my catch can setup. Yours might be different, but you can get creative. And I addressed the ground issue. So there was a ground on the backside of this harness. And what I did is I connected it to the right side of this with a bolt and nut. And then I connected this uh, and made a ground wire to connect to the actual place where it was originally going to be tapping into and that was the valley cover in the engine itself. So I think I addressed the grounding of the actual component and I think it's going to all work out. So the goal for this is to let the heat escape and not wear out our igniters and coil packs. But I'm curious to hear about your feedback and what you think. I think it's a good idea, but again, I love the open discussion and uh, put what you think in the comments. And again, we appreciate you watching the video. You guys take care, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.